Super, super good laser. If you are on the market to buy a laser, I cannot recommend it enough. Hey you guys, Valentine's Day is coming. So that means today we will be making Valentine's. We will make this really cute Valentine. And for this, I'll be using the We Create laser for three reasons. Number one, because it's a great laser. I totally recommend it. Number two, because We Create has some huge sales going on from now until Valentine's Day. So if you are thinking about buying a laser, this might be a good time for it. If you want to save some money, and then the third reason why I want to use this laser is because I just received this a smoke purifier from them. So I want to test it out and see if it's any good. Now, before we get into making this Valentine, I want to show you a little bit about the smoke purifier and tell you who is it for and if you need one. I'm going to unplug it really quick and detach the hose. All right, I'm going to bring it closer so you guys can see it. It's a solid, solid construction, all metal, um, nice two handles on the side. Let me bring you a little bit closer. It has a um, nice screen over here where you can adjust the fan speed and all of that. It also comes with a really cute remote. So that's the remote. When we open these two latches, we can take the cover off. And then you have three filters. As you can see, brand new. I have not used this yet. We will try it together. This is the top filter. This is the one that is going to get dirty the, quick, the quickest and you have to replace them. It does come with two extra ones of these filters. So that's the top filter. Then underneath that, there's another filter. This is kind of like a HEPA filter, I guess. A really nice solid filter. And then under that is this massive filter. <laughs> so there it goes. Rattles, it has charcoal on it. And then inside there is a fan. I hope you can see that. So let's put this back together and we'll get to test it. It came put together so you don't really have to do anything other than attach the hose. Now, you don't necessarily need to have a We Create laser to use this. You can use it with any enclosed laser or even with open frame lasers if you have a cover for it, an enclosure. Now, who is this smoke purifier for? Well, let's say my laser was on that side of the shop. There would be no way for me to snake the smoke outside. So then a smoke purifier would make sense. Also for people that uh, live in apartments. You can't just put that stinky smoke out the window when you live in an apartment building. So a smoke purifier would make sense. Now I think who would benefit the most out of this smoke purifier is um, small businesses that go to craft shows. If you go to a craft show and you're selling uh, dog tags or personalized cutting boards and you need to personalize them right there on the spot, well, you don't want to stink up the place and, you know, make anybody uncomfortable around you that they have tables around you. So then having a smoke purifier completely takes care of the smoke and you can, you know, sell your items without stinking up the place. For the Valentine's today, I'll be using walnut and maple. I buy my planks on Amazon. I have a really good uh, source on Amazon. I'll put the link in the description below if you're interested. This is one eight inch planks. And I love them, I buy them especially for my box making because they are exactly 1 8 inch so I can use them for splines. If you did not see my full review of the We Create laser, I will post it on the end of this video because it's an amazing laser, like I said, and I have a full on review showing you what the laser can do. For today, we'll just make this project. So I'll be putting my material into the machine, just like that. I'll be closing the machine and then on my computer. All right, I started recording my screen and um, as you can see, I have the two layers that I'm gonna cut out of walnut. First thing we need to do is do an out of focus. So I am going to push this button. This is how easy it is focusing. Just push that button. You can see the machine is going up, then it's going to go down and take a focus. Super, super cool feature. No more guessing of focusing. And then you can see as it will go down. 
I don't know if you can see the red dot. But that is how it focuses. All right, so we are focused. I'm gonna put you down again. Let me point a little bit more like this. And now I am going, both of these guys, I want to cut. Uh, power 100, speed eight, I think that should work. And then we just click start. And now it's telling us we need to send it, say send. It's estimating it will take six minutes to cut these two layers. And now we have to push this button over here on the machine. Just that easy. And let me bring you in closer. Whoop, I should start my air purifier. All right, air purifier is going, it's pretty loud. Let me see if I can show you the laser cutting. I apologize for the glare from the lights. So far, I am not smelling any smoke, so that is good. One shape is cut, it's moving into the next one. You can see the machine is smoke free inside, so the smoke it is coming out, but it's going into the filter, it's not smoking up my shop. All right, there is our cut. So there is our cut material. It looks like very nice clean cut. So as you can see, very nice cuts, no charring. Very pleased with the way it worked out. Let me get the other piece out. There you go. Looks like I need to push that piece from the middle of the U, O. There you go. This is our second layer. And I will be clearing up the little pieces that fell through. Now to clear the little pieces from the machine, it has a tray underneath and it has a handle. Sometimes I find the handle really easy, sometimes not so easy. There it is. And now we can just dump this in the garbage and put the tray back. Make sure you push it all the way in. There you go. And now we'll set the maple material to cut the other two layers. All right, nice clean cut. And as you can see, the camera worked fantastic. We went all the way to the edge of the material just like we planned it. So let's take out the pieces and get on gluing this. Super, super good laser. If you are on the market to buy a laser, I cannot recommend it enough. Now, as you can see around the shop, you guys, there's no smoke. So the smoke purifier really worked really well. And I wanna look at those filters after we do this glue up. We're gonna take a look at the filters to see if they're dirty from, you know, purifying that smoke. How do we glue this up? Well, this is the layer that goes on the bottom. Then I think this one goes next. Then it's this one and this one on top. So, we're gonna glue them up. I'm gonna use CA glue and some activator. And let's see. And ta-da, there is our Valentine. Now, the only thing is left to do is to apply a finish on it. And that's when I use pure tongue oil. And you can see this one, it's a little bit bigger than the one I did yesterday. This one already has the finish on it. So that's what it looks like without the finish. This one I made it smaller too. 
and there's our valentine super super cute easy project to do now let's look at those filters onto the smoke purifier and look at that it did what it was supposed to do and there is our smoke now as you saw the smoke purifier works amazing the laser is really really nice if you did not see my full review on it, please go check it out. It does superb engraving, way above average engraving. And as you saw, it does really nice clean cuts as well. And we got to make a beautiful Valentine. Don't forget about those sales that will go on from now until Valentine's Day from We Create. I hope this was useful to you and you learned something new. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Skylar Ewing and I'll see you in my next video.